All right, I'm gonna need a recap from Drez. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I pressed some buttons, and there was a giant space shark spider. And I did all my cool tricks, and they totally worked. By which I mean, I think I, it blew up for reasons. And now I'm in the black. Greg's Is here. Is Drez permanently high? I think Drez is permanently reductive. Ah, I see. <laughs> he really does think the same way a lizard does. <laughs> That's racist. Uh oh. Which is how bugbears think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys are hurtling through space. We'll get back to you. Durf. <laughs> You are kind of spinning <laughs> through space. Now, is the creature dead dead? Uh, I, they, it you, got they hit with a up. billion missiles. It's yeah. dead. They blew up his face. I think it's dead ass dead. Uh, unless any of you guys are really accomplished necromancers, that thing is not going anywhere fast. Uh, where okay. am I? You don't know. You're in a giant metal box. Okay. I guess you, you don't have any immediate gear that would let you get out of that, do you? All right, oh, we'll oh, get back to you later. It? Yeah, he's stuck in it. Oh, like it? I mean, he he climbed into a car that was going into a car compactor, and oh. then yeah, he didn't bring a a blowtorch to get his way out. Uh, uh so we'll, well, maybe I might have something. I could because I I picked up uh, the soy paper and the Roomba. <laughs> okay, well the Roomba is destroyed. Yeah, it was uh, the well, one yeah, that but I can't destroyed. like fashion something out of its parts. Uh, maybe. I mean, you do have I, a fair always... bit of raw material. What are you trying to make, and how high are you going to roll to prove to me that your character is <laughs> capable of making it? Uh, I always expect Flor to just well, pull some I'm... bullshit where he, like, vibrates and his problems go away. I'm, I'm just going to engineer a very simple, um, uh, what do you call it? Just, the, like, a circular saw to cut my way out of the box. Okay, sure. Bam. Uh, yeah, you kind of get a thing. Mainly, you've just got, like, well, you've got the Roomba spinning, and it's kind of cutting through the metal. It'll take a while. Okay. Alaren, you have bounced off of some walls and a couch or two. Whoa! <laughs> and it hurt. Ow! But you're fine. Right before this happened, Nim was yelling. You didn't really catch what he was yelling about, though. Is the pad broken now that we've been jostled around? <laughs> Roll a third reflex save. Oh, okay. God. Yeah! Nope, it's perfectly fine. You managed... That that pad uh, is untouched. You managed to shield it uh, from many blows. Yes. All right. Nim, what... What happened? Well, somebody fired some anti torpedo, uh, antimatter torpedoes. Uh, Blew up your ride, all of your rides. Wait, you, you mean... can see a there is a giant hole, by the way, on the right side. Oh, wait, like you guys are. How just, are we not being sucked into space? Uh, there's no air left. Oh, but we still have the bubble around us. Yeah, or? no, you guys. I'm I'm assuming you guys generally life bubble. We all have life bubble? I mean, you can yep. cast it and it lasts for 24 hours, so... Oh. Okay, that's interesting. Does she, wait, does she have life bubble as a spell? No. It's okay. <laughs> I'm How? like, where is she getting it from? That's what I'm, I'm assuming wondering. you guys cast it on each other, unless you're sociopaths. Life, if I cast life bubble on every single party member, I, ha I lose that entire slot. No, you can cast uh, life bubble on one person per level. For uh, two hours per level. Look up the spell description. Well, it is broken. Well, Skitter probably has it, right? I Skitter has a spacesuit. I'm actually assuming uh. Lauren has a spacesuit, and she's just never told anybody about it. But that's did about you as much see my character's outfit, her original outfit. That does not look like a spacesuit. I mean, you are a space person. I'm assuming you're not stupid enough to be walking around in space land. Wait, so you mean I just like punch an amulet and suddenly I'm armor assuming you actually have a, I mean, I'm assuming you had an outfit change 
multiple sessions ago and we've just never acknowledged it. Maybe she's got a Gamora spacesuit. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? I or mean, tomorrow she just got saved by a mask. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, you're good. Space is fine now. <laughs> ah. We'll, yeah. we'll deal with that. But no, uh, if you didn't have anything, Skitter's got you covered. Because <laughs> I was a lot, we were going into this, I'd be like, oh, yeah, Skitter would probably uh, hold on to a wand of life bubble if nobody else bothers to cast it on anybody. It'll be the backup. Assuming you're near him. Okay, anyway. so we look out and we see just the headless oh, creature. No, you see there is like kind of crystallized blood and horror bits and it's really <laughs> gross like everywhere. Like you guys are floating in this stuff. You've probably been doused in things. Uh, it looks gross. Wait, so that was supposed to be our ticket to the Crimson Eye and it's... It's, it's gone. It's destroyed. Then, I suppose the mission was a failure before it could ever really begin. I mean, there's more ships like that. It's just going to be harder the second time. How many of these ships have been destroyed uh, in this manner? You mean the one you're on, or the... The critters. Well, like, do they have some kind of means to communicate with one another, to communicate that this one was destroyed? Uh, no, but they probably they probably wouldn't report back, and they'll come a-looking. They'll find this one's face blown off. So, you're saying that we're supposed to wait? Uh, yeah, I mean, you could do that. Or I could come and get you, and we could rethink things. The second option's probably better, considering there's supposed to be m more of its minions on this vessel, and also the tear I created in space is probably going to run to the other half. Oh, of the yeah, ship no. Part. You uh, really don't want to go any further down that the side of your ship. There's, uh, well, there's not much left. As I anticipated. All right, well, I... I suppose we need you to pick us up, Nim. As for our companions, I oh, yeah. don't I know probably... where they went. I'm just going to draw this preemptively, just in case this comes up. I'm just sort of looking out into space to see if anyone's out there. There we go. Okay. Uh... Is that the whole, like, part of the ship destroyed, or is there, like, the uh, void part of the ship is on the The void side? part of the ship may or may not have just been kind of ripped out. Oh. So there's, like, a little bit behind <laughs> you. But, uh, I mean, this this ship is also, uh, the ship you're on is also hurtling away from the, uh, the flesh thing. Oh, right, because of yeah. the of It's the a mess. Yeah, there, there's multiple things. Okay, um, so anyway... Uh, so, I, I'm gonna admit, you're probably gonna be the last ones picked up. So you might want to just hang tight for a while. It's gonna take a bit. I don't have a ship nearby. Oh, right, because I, I looked to the wreckage of the one that the creature was <laughs> munching on. <laughs> you see, like, the scrunched up, uh, bits of maybe bridge that were also <laughs> vaporized by the torpedoes. Like, there's nothing left of that ship. There's barely anything left of your ship. The ship you're on, uh, there's all, nothing left of the front half of the, the spider ship. I sit down on the probably crystal-soaked uh, chair over I, here. Well, I mean, it's frozen at this point. Yeah, frozen. There's, there's no concept of wet. Right, right, right. That's why I say it was, like, it was like soaked in crystal, but then, yeah, crystallized. Yeah, well, it's a little craggy, but comfortable enough. If you sit on the, like, uh other side and i sort of like plonk my head in my hands why skitter why does everything have to break so horribly i mean merrick did warn you he does have that nickname for a reason aren't there still monsters on the ship <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, yeah that's true I, I suppose we should fortify ourselves? Uh, I mean, I guess. With what? Well, I always have this. I sort of 
the pull the goo out of the bag. <laughs> bag of goo. Ah, <laughs> uh, this will comfort me in my time of need. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you still have that. You guys should check your inventory at some point. I mean, I have a lot more where that came we from. We might find dog residue. I mean, I have several different types of orbs. I have various musical instruments. I have maps and sending stones and magical cards and bomb orbs and a bunch of stuff. But yeah, I, I start to seal off the doors and I assume like this stuff crystallizes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I think those are the... Oh, nope, nope. Now, is there even an entrance here, or is this just open to space? <laughs> it's open to space. Oh, uh, well, no helping that. All right. I suppose we'll just have to wait for Nim. Yep. And for our friends. They didn't have sending stones, did they? Uh, they do. Okay. I think everyone except for Flurf does. All right, I will try to contact Greg and Drez. Hey, guys, what happened? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Everything's lights and spinning. We're fine, but I'm about to puke again in space. We're probably oh. spinning like crazy, huh? Yeah, yeah so no, you guys, you guys are spinning like nonsense. You guys are spinning like nonsense, but there's no like inertia. Like, there's no gravity to mess up your stomachs. It's mostly just everything is a giant light show. <laughs> you pretty much have to close your eyes oh, just no. to make sure the spinning doesn't. Oh. An uzumaki of puke. <laughs> <Ew>. Uzumaki. <laughs> Gross. Oh. And it's anyway. flying with you. You are in a cloud of horror. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh, no. Uh, well, Dr. Like Nimbus star. will pick you up soon. I He had to retrieve another ship, but... Please, Wait, please, we're just have to deal with this for a while? Don't crash the <laughs> next one, please. Oh. All right. I'm going to use my wings to stabilize. It. Uh, you have you, those? You unfurl your wings, and uh, they collect some barf. <laughs> yeah, there's no fucking wind in space. There's no wind well, yeah, there's if there air. Was, if there was wind, I'd be more in danger, because if we're going fast enough, you could hurt the wings. But no, it affects your center of mass, so you can try to stabilize the spinning. There is uh, the barf, though. Oh, that is clever. <laughs> and yes, I could use a barf retro rocket. I guess I'll try that. It's like spread. So, I think like you're going to dehydrate. So like sp- I guess this is canonical now. There you are. <laughs> it's how, barf is Greg, Uzumaki. how is Greg barf not Nebula. dead? Wait, from isn't it Naruto that means the... uh, spiral? Uh, maybe. I think Uzumaki no. means spiral. Naruto's last name is Uzumaki. Oh. Yeah, that was a name. Yeah. All right, Naruto well. means like ramen or something. Um, I, I thought Naruto is the thing that put is get put on the ramen. It's the spirally. Yeah, thing. I think he's named after the little flat things that have the pink spiral on them. Yeah, is the name of the entire character. You mean the fake crab? I think yeah, that's like it. spreading out the wings is like the difference between like spreading your legs out versus tucking yourself in when you spin in a chair. No, that's a good point. I had forgotten about that's that. True. So you are spitting slower. What about what about I like Craig? the vomit nebula though. I mean <laughs> the vomit nebula. I'm not sure where Greg is in this. Either Greg well no, you rolled a strength check. So you guys are probably a diverging. Low one. I love yeah. eight. So you guys you guys were directly next to each other when this happened, so you're like slowly diverging. Mm-hmm. Um and uh so you're probably like ten, fifteen feet from each other. Oh my god, dude, there's a there's <laughs> Like an orbit. That's horrible to think about because there's a short story about two astronauts getting blasted into space that they're just far apart from each other. Uh huh. But they can't actually do anything about it, so they get to hang out while both of them die. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but they can't like interact with each other. Really. And then there's the movie Gravity. Watch. Yeah, that's also a thing. Or one the, sacrifice. It was uh, the, other. the Illustrated Man. Oh, God, that was a good yeah. book. Anyway, sorry about that. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> you guys are spinning in space. Flurf's in a box. Yeah, I guess you guys were talking to each other. It is going to take a yeah. while. Oh, huh, well, while we're stranded out here with nothing better to do, 
So, Skitter. Yeah? You said that it's been a year? Two years? I mean, I'm bad at counting. Something like that. So the necromancers were keeping us alive that long? But how? Uh... Unless time just... works differently? I suppose that makes sense. Hmm. I'm amazed that they have not been disturbed yet. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's very little ship ship left, and I imagine oh, most no. of the remaining rooms have monsters in them that yeah. can use doors. All right, do we see the the a box? Uh, no the the box was inside this thing's corpse, so it's like drifting somewhere between the corpse and Alarin and Skitter. How's that progress going? Wait, which box? The uh, the box. one you're in. What about the other box? Uh, your your box? Yeah, probably nearby. In fact, Durf is probably making more headway at freeing himself than anybody else is at anything. <laughs> uh, probably so, the next thing that's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. So Durf, make a uh, I guess a second engineering check. All right. Oh, All right. Oh no. Your, it broke. Uh, yeah, so no. <laughs> so your makeshift Roomba saw has devoured the soy paper flavor uh, remains. Well, I wasn't using the soy paper to. Well, to make no, it. it went rogue and ate the soy paper flavor. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Ew, uh, it was in your folds. Yeah, and then <laughs> then then it uh, more or less that gummed up the works. I swear to God, God damn it, none of the all... items that I. <laughs> Take with Who me. I all of our get to use how I want. Fucking coins. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't just rolled though. a twenty. I know. And earlier like... she rolled a one. Yeah. I. They all I, got I, the Greg I, disease. <laughs> <laughs> I have rolled yeah. comparatively few nat twenties and ones this time around. My coin it's killed the boss. Around. Yeah. <laughs> what is happening? I I would love to play a D&D campaign at some point where you either have critical failures or critical successes on everything. Ouch. So the entire point would be to avoid rolling as much as possible. Yeah. Come up with creative solutions that don't require chance. All right, I'm going to sit in my box and wait. Okay, so everybody sits in their box and waits. Uh, (laughs) This is a bad thing for a Lauren and Skitter. Yeah, this will be. So, uh, as you guys kind of all settle down, this guy kind of comes around the corner. <gasps> oh, no. Is and he, he seems to be... Oh. Well, he's. I guess he kind of is, because he's, he's crawling along the walls. Would you say that he's skittering? Yeah, no, he is skittering. Ew. Um, and then this thing kind of pops up over here. Oh, oh. no. It's okay, Alarin Skitter's invincible. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, roll for initiative. Okay. Let's roll for initiative. Oh, no token was selected? I got an 18 there, though. Okay. Uh, let's see. A skitter. Where is initiative? So right, we, initiative's we in a really them cracking weird. Through you can't the... hear a thing. Oh, right. Yeah, outside space. of your own bubble. Uh, let me pull up my. Also, don't, I don't. They don't need to crack anything. They can just open the doors. Uh, well, no, they were they were uh breaking through her her slime. Oh, did she barricade? Oh. Yeah, mm-hmm. she did barricade. But uh, since nobody was watching it. These things more or less just kind of rip the door open. Um, oh right, these things were in the uh, these things were in the monster manual. One second. Yep, that they were. I was trying to remember where the stat blocks were. I couldn't remember. Let's see, isn't there no gravity, life support, or atmosphere? Correct. So Alarin's kind of free floating slightly above this couch thing, um, and these things are climbing along the walls. These guys are just releasing droplets of mud out this door. (laughs) As the air just fires it out. (laughs) I like to think of them as donut-shaped poops. Okay. That's kind of what they look like. (laughs) 
Huh. I actually it's like these, these monsters, so I'm gonna use these. Okay. Like that's just how physics works in space when you take a poop. How come in Uzumaki nobody ever ring? Yeah. How come in Uzumaki none of the dogs ever took a crap that ended up being evil? <laughs> what? I'm Never sorry, mind. what? Do your dogs take spiral shits? Every dog <laughs> takes spiral shits. Have you seen no, a poop emoji? Don't. I don't care about emojis. I've seen dogs oh, shit. You're, oh, you're still calling them uh, Uzumakis. Yeah. Because it's a cool word. I've had dogs <laughs> before. It's it does kind of, seem like it's more, really just a series more like of it should plots. be for spiral. Yeah. Anyway, don't let me distract you. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, Alaren, uh, you, you see two things, uh, what would their initiative be? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Is it initiative? Oh, it's plus four. The scene from Annihilation reminded me of Uzumaki, like he's got spirals on the inside. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, um, Shell, can you roll initiative again? Okay. I know it's got the tiebreaker, but I I can't do tiebreakers personally. No, actually, you just go you just go first. Oh, okay. Probably. Yeah, because I mean, mine was a eighteen. Yeah, well, theirs three. is just an eighteen because I can't do the tiebreaker, uh, and I'm not sure if it's like one to five or what. It's probably one to five. Has initiative ever gone above five? Do we know? What oh yeah, it does. It's it's one to ten, probably. Are we talking about the decimal part? Yeah. The decimal? I've yeah. actually had like a nine. Yeah. So I'm assuming nine. it's like zero to what? Uh, zero to nine, maybe? Uh, whatever. We'll just. You're first. We'll deal with it past this. Uh, so what are you going to do? You see uh, one guy that looks particularly creepy kind of come around uh, from where you left the uh, the slime. And then another guy from uh, the gap left by the explosion. Hmm. Okay. Well, I suppose I will throw down the devil card. Okay. Uh, are you actually throwing it? No, no. I was thinking about like sort of smacking it down close to where the edge of the bed, like not the bed, the edge of this was over here. Okay. So that then it would, like, the tentacles would probably be like, blah. Okay. So. Um, and this is a level, it's at level two. Okay. So you've, you've upgraded this thing, right? Mm -hmm. I remember. Um... Jeez, I'd almost say, like, uh, this thing pops out. A couple of these things, actually. What's that thing? Uh, Technical things, remember? No, they're, uh, I'm oh. going with wisps, just because I don't have anything better. Uh, okay. So, like, about four of these things pop out. Um, and are going to, uh, are going to float their way uh, towards the targets. Uh, so, that, that was your action. Mm -hmm. So, they'll just act on yours. So... Let's look this thing up. Fly, my minions, fly. Uh, geez, these things are just as broken in Pathfinder. Holy shit, they're broken. <laughs> All right, sure. Um, and reminder, you can only use that card once a day. Right. Zappy, zappy. Uh, so they're pretty much just gonna double up here. Yep. So two and two. One, two, three, four. Okay, what's this? It's one, two. Eh. Not as great. But this one gets zapped to death. Woohoo! They looked kind of battered. Uh let's see. So the boss guy is going to Ooh. This is an accurate sucker. Uh, let's see, one second. 
three melee attacks instead of two. Okay, so it, uh, it's gonna hit. Gonna hit the wisps. Yeah. Oh, it's minus five to each. Okay, well that's fine. Um, I mean, I'm just I found a different monster that actually fits this group better. Mm-hmm. So I'm going with this one. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's it's hitting each of the wisps for. Why this thing is dangerous? Mm-mm. All right. Uh, how much do the wisps have for HP? Okay, that they're looking pretty bad. Okay. And then s- these two are gonna pop out behind. And they're also going to attack the wisps. Yeah. Those guys are probably done for. Who knows? Okay, 11. Yeah, so this this wisp goes under. Uh, then it's Skitter's turn. He is going to pop out his character sheet so I don't have to find it again. And... Oh... Uh, I'm assuming after this, Nim's probably going to pick us up. All right, Skitter misses. Uh, Oh, right. He should hide first. That's also important. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that never fails. Anyway, (laughs) uh, let's see. Alarn, it's your turn. Okay, my turn. So, obviously, those other wisps are going to head towards... So, I should should probably mention the wisps just look like like black spots in space. Uh, And they're kind of, like, sparkly. That's interesting. Their humanities. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> okay. And these creatures, they they just look like they're completely made out of flesh and stuff, correct? Yes. All okay. right. That's interesting. So what do you do? Well, I know that Skitter's probably out in front of me, right? Considering he's gone invisible. Yeah, you know, Skitter's somewhere. Yes. He missed. Skitter. You saw his hammer, like, bounce off of a thing. <laughs> uh, let me find. Okay, well, I am going to try to use suggestion on one of the minions of the main guy. Okay. Uh, Durf, roll a... Roll a initiative. Uh, just roll for initiative. Okay, yeah. so you're doing suggestion on him? Yeah. Uh, okay, perfect. Uh. All right. Um. So we'll deal with you in a second. So it's going to have to make a will save. Well, question: save. Do they have to hear you for suggestion to work? Oh, you're right. I, yeah, they have to. I probably won't be able to yeah, do suggestion. So then. I'm I'm gonna let you redo that one because <laughs> your character reasonably should know. Using suggestion in the void of space is probably silly. I keep forgetting that we're in the middle of space. All right. Well, then I'll cast fairy fire on them. Okay. Uh, what's that one doing this in in uh, Pathfinder? Because you should look that up. Yeah, I should look up the Pathfinder version. Okay. So, uh, Durf, I I should you technically uh, get an action before hers. So your box hits something, and in doing so, a small hole opens up. You can see a ship. All right. Um, I'm or pretty parts comfortable in this box. Okay. I'm gonna stay here. All right. Well, we'll deal with you later then. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, you're you're not doing I, anything. I learned so. my lesson from rolling. No, it's fine. All right. Uh, let's see. So it's their turn. So he is going to... We missed our chance to introduce Durf, uh, Fleur right. Floor, where he's like an octopus and can fit through tiny spaces. <laughs> I mean, you've Wait never tested. He doesn't have organs. We don't understand what kind of weird monster he is. No. Every episode, there's a weird new surprise. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so your wisps are going to attack. One. 
Cherry two, fire three. sucks in Pathfinder. Mm. It just makes them glow. <laughs> I, that's Literally. terrible. It's it's for <laughs> revealing invisible things and yeah, it's its yeah, original purpose. Uh, but in for the cards that I have, it also makes them have a disadvantage, or or at least we have advantage against them. Yeah, but that was that was fifth edition. It got buffed. Then, well, I wouldn't cast it then. I wouldn't well, even yeah, have so it in my toolbox. Yeah, so what what would you cast main, instead? Its main purpose is for like revealing things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I do like having advantage against them. Just yeah. To unfortunately, rules. that mechanic disappeared. Ah, then I when probably guys won't. Blew up the I probably won't have fairy fire in the future. Then we'll have to see. Uh, let's see. So, what do you do instead? What do I do instead? Well, uh, the thing I is, I wanted to stock up on vision obscuring spells. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to accidentally hurt Skitter in the event that he's actually out there. And I can't use T Tasha's hideous laughter, because once again, no one can hear me. Um, can't really use scrying, seeing, any of those things. Ah, uh, this is, this is kind of weird. I don't know what to do. You have your I sword. I, I know I do have my sword, but you I don't want to use the rain. bag of knives. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the bag of knives. Yeah, Skitter has the bag of knives. Uh, I suppose, let's the see, knife 5, dimension. 10, 15. So I can, I can attack this guy, correct? Using the ranged version of my sword skill? Yeah. All right. Uh, so which one are you going for, the little guy or the big guy? The little guy. Okay. Roll to hit. Right. And are you attacking once or twice? Because also important thing. I'll probably attack once. I don't like the idea of getting a negative five. Okay. What? Hello. <laughs> Just. <laughs> I... Oh. What? Not again. <laughs> what? All right. Uh, and Lauren an Sepuku. <laughs> another void tear? You do. Hey. You're running out of ship to destroy. Let's move this over here. Ah! It's a bit smaller than the last one. Okay, thank goodness, because it wasn't two. Yeah, it wasn't two. They uh, they're a bit different. And does the creature or creatures just get uh, obliterated by it? No. Uh, so oh. everything everything gets a reflex save, uh, which is mainly it and the will o' wisp between you, because effectively any any tile your sword passes through, mm -hmm. uh, gets cut. Okay, so the wisp and yep. him. All and right. you're still wearing your mask. I've got to so say, you... in my other campaign, we really did not roll ones or twenties. Mm -hmm. It's a very different experience. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's one. So this guy gets out of the way. And the wisp is 12. Well, it gets out of the way. All right, so now there's a giant gaping hole in the world. And <laughs> Shell, you get to ask a question. Right, I do get to ask it a question. Uh, let's see. Where is my father? Uh, I'll tell you its answer after this. Uh, I got to okay. think on that one. All right. I feel like this all this wreckage is going to be cleared out, and some random ship's just going to be flying through space and get torn through by one of these voids that's just floating in space. Uh, technically, if you observe them long enough, you'd see space slowly knitting itself back together. Which is good. Yeah. But slowly. It's yes. faster if you run things through it, though. Eh, it probably uh, happens on a solar My time scale. Sated. Anyway, uh, let's see. So that's, that's your turn. Uh... Your wisps attack. Things get moved around. Uh, Commander Bladestorm is going to go nuts on things. And the other guys actually can't get past the... Uh, uh, can't get past the, uh, the rip. Well, they could. Would they? Yeah, probably. All right, one, two, three. All right. Uh, so this, this wisp, there's no surviving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that first hit. Uh, second hit. Um, gonna have to roll.
First hit, second hit. Okay, so your other Void Wisp dies. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I think they're going to attempt it. One. Oh, nope. no. That guy well, tried limboing yeah, through. This guy goes through, and you uh, are kind of hit well, by part well, debris <laughs> uh, oh, God. for its failures. And then the other one is going to try and get by, <laughs> and you are hit by part debris by its failures. <laughs> oh, no. It's like uh, the part of Last showered Jedi. in the chunks of the dead. It's like yep. the part of Last Jedi where the, the red guard falls in that weird hole in the floor in the, <laughs> in the throne room, and just weird red shit flies up out of it. So, uh, like the blended yeah. person. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, uh, the skitter's gonna attempt to do a uh, help. Let's see if he let's see if he hits this time. He does. Oof. All right. Um. Boss man's not looking so good. Alaren, it's your turn. What do you do? All right. I'm going to run him through. All right. Or try to. Uh, with your void saber. Yeah. You do it. Uh, it just it, it obliterates it. And your uh, wisp winks out. Okay. How many more crit fails be between before she like just ends it all? <laughs> then it becomes like do we have to reboot again to shattered dimensions? <laughs> <laughs> that's if she rolls three ones in a row we're just like fighting non-euclidean personalities <laughs> <laughs> everything uh, the the, the campaign comprehension the campaign would have to switch to monthly as i uh <laughs> figure out how to make escher maps yeah it's, instead of a instead of a normal D, D map we're fighting like a windows screensaver <laughs> oh it's like a it's surreal memes basically <laughs> I figured out how to guy's head over and over again. <laughs> now, oh my god! Today's boss fight is the pipe screensaver. <laughs> <laughs> now, when these creatures died, did they just sort of melt into the mush like the first guy had? Uh, well, the or ones that died due to your wisps, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you threw a void rip over them, and then killed the rest with void stabs and void rip. So, uh, no, there's just nothing left but dust. Ah. Ew. Well, that must have been the rest of them. That it... attacked Drez earlier. That was easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, you know what, is my box still around? Yeah. yeah is he no, you were there? probably watching this. Could I, could I see him? You're probably yeah, like, good thing I stayed in the box. You see Flurf <laughs> just floating about 20 feet away from you, peering out of a hole in a box. Oh, hey, Flurf. We hey, We don't Skitter. even end fights normally anywhere by, like, doing, like, hit point damage to kill something. <laughs> no, it's just like, it's we like... just need to wail on them until the universe cracks open and we kick them into the hole we made. All right, let's retrieve our friends. I plop down the chariot card to make the mecha pegasus. And the cherry behind it. Okay. Does it have jet engines or do I need to upgrade it more? I mean, it flies. It, even in space? It's a magic item. It is a magic item. All right. Hop aboard. Let's pick everyone up and okay. rendezvous with Dr. Nimbus. Okay. Oh, I can't. I, I was, all right. All right. Fine. Hop on. He's stuck inside the box. Oh. I, I can't even select my character. I was hoping that I would uh, like squeeze my way out, pick up oh, one of those right. uh, brown donuts to give to Greg whenever I see him next. Okay. Oh, th that's mud. That's muddy footprints. Oh. They're not there oh, anymore. They're footprints. I cannot break yeah. open the box. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Don't want to harm him. Well, we plop the box in the back. Um, I mean, it's it's a big box. Oh, it is a big box. Yeah, it's like the remember the couch room. Oh, yeah, he was in that room, and then it got much smaller. Okay. Oh, I was just about to think of like putting the slime all over, and maybe trying to squeeze. Him I out mean, that you could way. probably butter him up. But... <laughs> oh, no, no. Um. Yeah, let's try to... Ew, we don't need to grease up the naked flirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, do you think... 
actually, hey, this is a great this idea. This greasy, vaguely moist <laughs> testicle monster. Oh, wait, no. I don't... Sweaty <laughs> balls. I don't Leaving want to a harm. a trail of, like, <laughs> wherever I don't... he slumps. <laughs> I was thinking about using Shatter, but that would also hurt him as well. Uh, do you think you could smack it with the hammer without harming him, or do you think he'll uh, get battered around in there? I can chuck the remains of the Roomba from the inside. <laughs> See if it opens up the hole anymore. Let me do a strength check. <laughs> he starts bouncing around in there. <laughs> the thing oh, is, God. the thing is, the uh, the force of my throwing. Hold it's on. a it's a ranged attack, by the way. Ra oh, ranged attack. Okay. Probably. All right. You you accurately fling the Roomba parts out the hole. They kind of bash into it on the way out. And I'm assuming the throwing also throws me the opposite way. Well, you don't really have a whole lot of room to maneuver in there, so... Eh. But yeah, so Lauren and Skidder kind of duck as the Roomba parts go flying past. Whoa. Or they get hit in the face by them. I'm not really sure what they're... <laughs> Why, do we have to do reflex saves? I mean, you can. It's not going to do any damage. But yeah, if you want to avoid uh, Roomba parts... <laughs> Getting whacked in the face. Whoosh. <laughs> by a damaged MacGyver saw. All right. So, uh, how are you fleeing, uh, free and Flurf, or how's Flurf freeing himself? Jeez, why don't, what is with Skitter's uh, plot armor? <laughs> uh, Skitter has good. Very high dexterity equals plot armor. It all started when Wander wanted to have a mid boss, and then I ruined it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, is there a latch or anything on the exterior of the box? Uh, no. It, he was he hopped in a car and then went into a car compactor. Wait, so this is crunched? Yeah. It. When I say box, I mean it very loosely. Oh. He but... is. He is in a vaguely rounded lump of metal, uh, in the sole spot that would have saved his ass. If he was in any of the other rooms, it would have been much, much more of a problem. Mm-hmm. Well, uh... Yay, I suppose... plot armor of my own. Flurf, get to the other side of the box. I will try to make a small incision, not that deep, on this side, around the hole. I smush myself against <laughs> the other side of the box. <laughs> and this is where everybody discovers that Flurf is amorphous. <laughs> Okay, so I start to, like, chisel Slurp. the hole a little bit more so that it would be large enough for Flurf to come out. Okay, it actually is not too hard, especially with him, like, flattened against the other side. All right. And we're able to extricate him from the, the crunched piece of metal. All right. Now we just have to find Drez and Greg. Ah. <laughs> you see them in the distance on cue uh no we don't see them they were really close to the explosion realistically they we went very far away very quickly yeah i looked down to the pad dr nim do you have our coordinates i'm coming it's still gonna take a while look i had to steal a whole nother ship the pirates are not happy oh yeah the oh pirates. they're never happy they're pirates no they're dicks also, shut up. You're not on the radio. Sorry. Dick <laughs> pirates. Yeah. Okay, so... Now they're coming for me, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they're here for the dick pirates. So, should we stay with the Ruckus, or should we try to find... I mean... Dresden Greg? I've got a lock on your... Well, you. Sort of. Because of the pad? Yep. Oh. Yeah, right. so, I mean, if you... If you have, uh... Mobility, to go wherever. I... This ship's faster than anything you can cook up. You need to find his box, right? Oh, right. We do need to find the Flurf box. So let's find the Flurf box in the wreckage. Okay. It actually doesn't take too much time, because it's the only thing that didn't melt. Mm hmm And it's pretty damn obvious. All right. It's just kind of floating there. Uh, My in box! The, in the guts of this horrid, horrid oh. corpse. Where, where are the guts? Are we in All them? around it. Everywhere. Everywhere. Like, this is we a debris field. Guts. Yeah, so do, this I, is... do I actually see my box or not? Yeah, you see your box. I want to just coat my box in myself. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you just kind of spread yourself thin, thinly around it. You're making gore angels? Look, guys, now I'm a cube. <laughs> oh, oh like, man. you're just like stretching your skin all around just, it? Yeah. yeah. Moisturize <laughs> me. Stretching his greased up, fleshy, da, da, da. hairy, wrinkly. Da, 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 I skinned I skinned the but wait, wait. Skinned is usually in reference to removing the skin. No, yeah. you, yeah. you, you <laughs> skinned I added it skin. insofar as you added skin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I feel bad Sorry. for the box right now. <laughs> the it puts coated. the box inside the door for us to get the skin again. <laughs> <laughs> like layered and case laminated. No. Uh, to respond to an early comment about how we learn a new thing about Flurf every episode, I kind of want to keep that trend going. <laughs> like, by the end of it, he's going to have literal superpowers just because... It makes it hard to have a consistent profile picture, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Yeah. It yeah. makes great fan art. <laughs> Flurf actually has I, a Schrodinger's yeah, toe, sure where every does. time he is observed, his number of toes changes. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna launch Photoshop. I'm gonna preempt preempt this. I'll make the flurf box. Anyway, uh, so wait, does this mean we get the other ship design? Uh, no. Well, oh. yes, we can do that. Uh, I should probably I should probably get to working on that as well. Uh, because there's something special about this one. Anyway, uh, let's see. So flurf. Yeah. Now, seeing as how you cling so, so tenaciously to the box. Oh, I'm extra sticky when I don't have the fur. Oh. 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 Uh, oh okay. Oh, well, okay. That that explains it. But no. Aside from producing more blurfs, what is its significance to you? I just feel like it's me. And I am it. And it is me. Huh. And did this have anything to do with, say, the AI or the, the other flurfs? The flurf the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, whatnot? Flurf the what now? Well, have you ever just felt like you weren't inside your own body and you were somewhere else? Uh... I... think... I've only ever experienced that when I was being temporarily mind-controlled. And then some giant tentacled monster stole me away. I know where this is going. No. The Leviathans are dead. <laughs> you see, the Triton people are... <laughs> <laughs> no, that was the beast. Way back on Zagna. <laughs> Uh, we had I a pleasant conversation. Huh? I just want to remind you that because she is, he, because he is furless, like the sound of him rubbing on these smooth surfaces <laughs> is just the worst. Except this is space, so I can't hear it. That's fine. <laughs> I'll make sure your head instead. I'm not close enough to be in your bubble, in yep. your personal bubble. He's uh, just I think skin farting constantly. Ah. <laughs> I think the the bubble scarding is like this. So you're not in my bubble. Like this? What? I don't see anything. You don't see my circle? Yeah, I don't see a circle that you drew. <gasps> well, then do you guys see I this circle? No. But people can't see my auras? People can't see my rectangle. I see a rectangle. Yeah. Yeah. I drew that. Because Wander can see my aura. I can, well, it's because I'm the DM. Oh. Because you can actually create auras. That's how I was able to create lights for um, using various light spells and such. Auras are very different. That requires you to like reveal it to us and stuff like that. Yeah, remember we did that there once. Should be, it was a pain in the ass. There should be a setting. Okay, uh, let's see. So first and foremost, let me let me fix Flurf here. He's going super oh, saiyan. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Aww. 
Did you just? He's a square now. He fits perfectly into a. He's like a Tetris board. People were talking about him being too big compared to everybody else because they scale up to the five foot square. Yeah. Now he's filled. Now he's expanded to fill the entire square. I guess it kind of makes sense now. Just picture the the Tetris theme. I am complete. <laughs> it's entirely out of like that skin wiping against the surface sounds. This... Oh my god! A more. Why are you so far out? Because uh, I have so much me. shit to manage. Moisturize me. Oh, he's he can moisturize himself. God, that, just that picturing that sound just it's gives insane. me the blisters when you scrape your knees on uh, uh, oh. hardwood floor or something. Oh, he's, I bet mm. Blurf is covered in like blisters right now from Blurf's or self moisturizing. That. <laughs> okay so uh so why don't you, you get along better with Fleur, Greg? you more you, uh. you can bond over your shared love of consuming siblings <laughs> yeah i guess that is something we have in common <laughs> and being hairy <laughs> not At currently half the time. not currently <laughs> I, I that was supposed to grow pretty fast, but I think it uh... it, it grows back when you rest. Mm -hmm. oh, Nobody's right. taking a nap ever. At what point is it revealed Except for the, first, the villain of this? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just like off. Krang. He's, he's like off. Krang. <laughs> okay, so are we gonna wait for Nim? Or are we going to try to retrieve? Drez and Greg, I've... except we don't know what direction they've possibly gone in. Drez, Greg, can you give us a sign? Like a blast yeah. or anything? <laughs> oh gosh, all the vomit? I don't there know about like that. There is a trail of vomit. <laughs> Do we see the, the trail sound of vomit? That you, they make when you go down a slide and your legs stick uh, to it the whole time. That's flurf. No, because yep. the, vomit, the vomit is still moving with him. Yeah, that's true. So Nim does arrive. Yeah, so N Nim's going to pick you guys up, probably. Uh, unless you decide him, to do but anything it's else. It's spreading out. <laughs> like, it's maintaining velocity with us, but it's spreading further and further out like Saturn's rings. Yep. Because it has an outward velocity. <laughs> At some point, it Very might be good, Dr. Dress. I'd like to describe might... more of how this is working out. It might, it might be visible at range. <laughs> Uh, it's just yeah. this horrible green spiral. I mean, spiral Shell, you can distance. you can make a uh, a perception, perception. check. <laughs> I mean, I suppose. Uh, okay. Doctor Dress. Perception. Okay. Oh, that's good. Doctor yeah, Dress dead. Pretty good roll. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's actually good enough. So that's you do 19. see them kind of hurtling away. They're very small. All right. Uh oh, uh, that was actually much better than I thought. I was gonna say I see nothing. You what? can maybe see the vomit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Onward, my steed. Let's go. And I'm fitting everyone on here, or are we sort of do we have to uh, have someone dangle off well, the edge? Well, the floor box is actually pretty big, so Skitter's just kind of standing on the side, probably. Okay. All right. Let's go. Okay. So you guys get over there to rescue them. It of actually course. takes a while because, like, they are moving away about as fast as you are moving. I suppose we'll yeah. go a little bit off to the side, so we're not going to be yeah, so you, <laughs> going you, through the vomit. Evasive you, maneuvers. <laughs> evasive yeah. maneuvers. So you guys finally catch up with uh, with Drez Greg, and you Greg. Need to puke in the direction we're going. Greg, in, so Greg is passed out momentum. from dehydration at this point. He has and to or be. exertions. Like he is, he is looking. You've never seen a, uh, a skinny bugbear before, but he's looking pretty thin. <laughs> oh no, Greg's got mummy rot. <laughs> uh, it's it's been two sessions. I haven't passed out in a while. Let's uh, make that happen again. And this this stamina system is great for keeping you awake <laughs> until I'm out of stamina. Okay, so you managed to reunite with the party, and pretty much everybody, li I assume everybody just kind of life rafts onto the, the chariot. Mm hmm So then what? Do you guys just sit there and wait? Uh, well, let's... Hmm. I need a shower. Can we I mean, rest on this thing? 
a space shower. We can probably... Uh, I don't know how close we want to get to the ship because it's going to draw in more of its kind. Well, the critter, critter is. But so long as we have the pad, we should be all right. Right, Dr. Nimbus? Ah, uh, yeah, one second. I'll be with you. <sighs> I sort of survey the wreckage of the, the two ships. Well, three ships, actually. Okay. Uh, so as you kind of look at it, it's a mess, by the way. It's, like, it's bad. Like, the derelict that you came up to, the entire back half is missing. The right side uh, has been crashed into it and then exploded. Uh, you the actually, yeah, you see a new center. line slowly tearing its way through the thing. Um, the left side you can't see, but actually is pristine-ish. Um... Thank you, Keith, for the subscription. Sure, why not? Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I have Amazon Prime. Uh, let's see. And then otherwise, otherwise, uh, <laughs> the ship you rode in on, there's nothing left of that. I hope you left nothing important on it. Uh, or I hope, hope you didn't leave anything important on it. And nope. then there's a headless corpse of a giant space bug uh, drifting away. And, yeah. you know, kind of metal vomit trailing out in front of it. We, we're horrible, aren't we? Everything we touch just gets obliterated. Are you whispering that too? I oh, wouldn't right, sell monsters. insurance to us. Oh no, all the monsters attacking us died. And then God, a big what a red shit attack on this. Good then, lord. Then it's so a tragic big... how all the things trying to murder us are dead now. Then a big red ship uh, more or less shows up directly next to you. <gasps> Wow, doesn't this look sporty? It is. It's stolen. Get on. <laughs> All right. And I dismiss uh, how do we get the, on? the chariot. Uh, you should be able to move your characters. Uh, oh, I, I, oh, through this door, I see. Yeah. You still have a jetpack. You just move very slowly. Yeah. So, whose ship is this? It, <laughs> it does... Remind me oh, of really, Scarlet. Do you really uh, want to know? Okay, I'm in. I, yeah, <laughs> Doctor Nimbus, I do. Okay. I'm unconscious. So somebody needs to. Don't help tell me. me this is Blythe's ship. It's Blythe's ship. Oh. God. <laughs> what? They only had two ships on hand. Oh, not okay, I don't block the way. We stole the, other, the first one. I had to go back for the second. You indoors. <laughs> God damn. I, I could <laughs> I could tell from the red that it was probably going to be Blythe's ship. There's something yeah. weird about realizing that I paid money to Bird's Company to give Wander money. <laughs> no, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like weird. that. <laughs> Twice, right. technically. Once so, for Twitch Prime and, one, and once for uh, the shirt. So we're on Blythe's ship. Yep. Uh, if it wasn't mad at you beforehand... Well, if he catches you with the ship, he'll be extra mad. You're probably going to want to trash this one, too. Uh-huh. Well, only when it's outlived Just its sand off its serial numbers. <laughs> Painted a different color? And yeah. I don't know about that. By the way, you should tell your friends there's a shower on this ship. All of them need it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Literally the only <laughs> ship in this quadrant with a toilet, let alone a shower. Feel well, blessed. I I mean, considering Blythe's long, luxurious tresses, of course he would have you to. You would have not a believe shower. the amount of hair products he's got in there. You <laughs> notice uh, Dr. Nim looks a little bit floofier than usual. <laughs> Helping Floofy yourself, hair. I see. Hey, if I'm going to steal one thing, I might as well steal the lot of it. Uh huh. Uh, what are all those icons and why? Oh, uh, hey, okay. Greg! The metaphor Greg's for the amount of puke attached to my body. <laughs> They go very far off the camera. Greg! We can only, we can only see like a third of them. <laughs> Greg looks... Uh, oh my. Greg does not look okay. Uh, <laughs> we should probably get all that vomit off of you. Only like 50% of Greg made it out of space. And yeah, uh, dresses out too. <laughs> you can't get past Skitter. How is Flurf able to move as a box? He's yeah. got a so he's, he's still like, got he's his like jetpack. He's like a oh, starfish. He's, he's, no, jet well, 
Well, no, I could. I, I'm guessing I just move my skin around like a treadmill on the box. Oh, you're God. basically yeah. a starfish. So the skin I, is have you ever but the box have, is not. have you ever heard of the luggage from Discworld? No. If not, it's a uh, it's a treasure chest with an infinite amount of space in it and like a million feet on the bottom that are just like trundling along. Oh, so oh, okay. Drez yeah. is helping himself to the shower. Okay. I'm going to investigate the bedrooms. That's the just appropriate to... symbol to use. <laughs> Toxic. Just to see uh, what information that, that Blythe might have left behind. Okay. Uh, let's I see. Per okay. Perception. Eh. Okay. You find... Um... Let's see. Well, also, why are there so many beds on this ship unless he keeps a crew of his own? Or Blythe. Never mind. Damn it, Drez. Hmm. All right. <laughs> well, because the uh, shower is occupied, I'm just, just going to rest sweat right here. Harder. <laughs> That'll clean you up. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to look through. You weird flesh cube. <laughs> the ship, because I'm intrigued. Realistically, the uh, the top left bedroom should probably be like an office or something. When his fur grows back and he's that shape, he's going to be Major Domo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it'll be adorable. Okay, so then I look through the office okay. bedroom. Yeah, sorry. I'll fix that on the next pass. I literally just recolored this ship because I, I did the generic version of this. And I'm like, huh, mm -hmm. the only Wait, other ship available. get in there? I'm resting the right in the oh. most inconvenient <laughs> spot. <laughs> I mean, I can waste some spells to get through, but maybe I, we should just space him again. <laughs> I just lightly like push on the flurf box to get it aside. Ah, uh, you could just ask me. Oh, okay. I I didn't yeah. know if you were sleeping already. Thank you, flurf. <laughs> and I will enter now the I room. I move back. <laughs> <laughs> The doors don't swing open, by the way. No, they, yeah, but they're... Right, they just slide aside. Am, am I not the size of the hallway? Uh, <laughs> you're five feet wide, five feet high, uh, and five feet long. So when the door opens, there's about three feet of uh, clearance above you. Eh, maybe two. They're oh. tall doors. Okay. Life was really tall. Ah. Uh. Really, all the space pirates are pretty tall. So, reasonably, anybody could climb over you, but it would be gross. Even Greg... <laughs> uh, it would require a strength check to squeeze through. Anyway, uh, so Alaren, you are in uh, what should be Blythe's like office. There is a desk. It it looks like it's uh real comfortable. The first wooden thing you've seen, uh, all campaign, in fact. Well, wait, no, we've seen things made out of wood, but you mean I was in shattered these... planets. Shattered planets. No, you I were was... a scaled. Attempted uh, maybe being a tree. Uh, mm -hmm. Why is dress so bad at being a druid? <laughs> I don't know. Everything, maybe, everything he summons or turns into is a lizard. Uh, maybe, maybe because you're just in tune with lizard and not which nature. I, which I still love that uh, that dress horse drawing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in my folder of Grave of Man downloads. <laughs> okay. So, uh, he does have a personal terminal. He also has a tablet. He's got a number of things. Uh, several mirrors. Uh, honestly, it looks like more of a, more of like a, a beauty parlor than a, uh, than an office. But he does, he does have a computer there. Ah, Now, hmm, I, I'm terrible with computers. I've never succeeded at anything computer related. But, I suppose... Oh, I can try. Okay. okay. So you uh, managed to turn on the display. And what do I see? A screen shaver. A screen shaver. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it, it actually looks to be... You have activated the um, the the kind of automatic uh, shaving protocol. Ah! Um, I step away from it immediately. Well, luckily, you have no facial hair, so it pretty much instantly is just like... And it opens and closes and beeps or something. For a screen shaver, I'm just imagining like somebody <laughs> pushing a block of cheese through a screen door and then like cutting it off periodically. I'm pretty good with uh, computers. 
Well, I, I, I suppose his, his species or, you know, alien race or whatever, they are capable of growing beards as well. Huh. Interesting. Uh, Tritons don't have beards. All right. Well, if you need any help, even with amongst that computer, males, just huh? Let me know. All right. Okay. Well, anything with the so there's plenty of mirrors. I'm not too interested in that. So there's there's no books. Ah, curse this digital age. <laughs> Kids these days. All right. Excuse me, Flurf. Oh. I suppose I should get some rest. Since Greg is in that room and he's probably stinking up the place. Anywhere else around here? So it's really just the lounge? Anything in the lounge? Uh, looks to be, uh, there's some hairspray, some snacks. Oh. What are the snacks? Uh, let's see. Um... You mean those things that Greg desperately needs to survive? <laughs> yeah. Uh, honestly, it's like it's it's like a whole chest of. Oh, geez. What would what would like? Uh, it would be like space quinoa and like <laughs> kale, uh, kale <laughs> chips and veggie Blah. veggie burgers and like. Uh, it if it was ever hip and trendy. It's in in this like vending machine looking thing. Well, he must have been really concerned with his physique. All right. Well, I'll, I'll get a couple things to nibble on. And then yeah, considering that Craig pretty much expelled any food that he may have had in his stomach, I'll go bring some to him. Can I uh take a look at this computer? Sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, he could probably crack it open with no problem. Yeah, let's uh do that. Okay. So <laughs> the uh whatever safety protocols uh he had on his computer, the password was I love me. Um <laughs> uh whatever safety protocols he had on that computer were uh nothing before you. Um and pretty much you've got the run of his uh his personal computer. There's a lot in there. Uh, you don't have enough time to actually read everything, probably. I mean, maybe you uh, do. I, Is there I anything about for... the bounties? Hey, Shell, you don't well, know anything. You uh, don't know he's on, connected. Flurf connects to everything wirelessly, so he's just sitting there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I, 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 uh, start making my way towards the shower, but in the meantime, I want to look for, um, Blythe's, uh, Space Amazon account and start ordering more shampoo. <laughs> okay. Uh, it, it does exist. It's uh, it's actually just called the the final frontier, um, <laughs> and um, well, cyborg Jeff Bezos is still the richest man in the world universe. Anyway, uh, so you are where are you ordering this hair product to? Uh, the the ship directly delivery. This ship, okay. <laughs> oh uh, no, express. <laughs> and do you uh, want a gift all, option? All the options. I I, I want. Okay. Uh, so what kind, what kind of gift wrap? on his account. What kind of gift wrapped and what's the message? I need to write this down, actually. Um, Trez was here. I want fluffy gift wrapping. And the message should be to flurf the flurfiest flurf of all the flurfs. <laughs> From flurf. Wait, no, 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 uh, wait, can, no, can, wait, you, wait. can you type that out to me so I can just copy and paste it? <laughs> to flurf yeah. the flurf. This is important. Flurf of all the flurf. You laugh, but this is important. Oh, because this is going to be something Blythe's going to read, likely. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. I mean, it depends on if the ship survives. Okay. Uh, so, well, you you are currently uh, slowly like draining his... The moment his... he gives away our location, we're just going to get hit from off-camera by, like, a Death Star beam. <laughs> <laughs> Another exact location. <laughs> okay, uh, I put it in the, uh, in, in the Discord. Awesome. Okay, uh, let's see. So you... Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Even with the typo, too. Wait, what? <laughs> 
Oh Wait, shit! What? Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, why not? Form, form, form Greg. Greg. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's how you know it's believable. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. So you you sing a happy little flurfy song. Yeah, uh, mean to yourself I'm just slathering shower. my skin and all the lotions and everything that's in there. And I'm, yeah. I might even sleep in there while I'm waiting. <laughs> okay. So, Lauren, you are feeding Greg, I assume? Well, I brought some food. Okay. Uh, Greg? Huh? Are you alright? Uh. Well, I found Blight's stash of food. Apparently he was really health conscious, but I know this isn't meat, and it's probably not going to be that filling, and it's not going to be laden with protein, but it'll at least be something to fill that empty stomach of yours. What is it? Ah, uh, well, we have uh, Vitruvian Kale Bites. We have... Oh. We have, um... Uh, the soy paper from earlier. We have... Let's see. Oh, yeah. So this is a actually a powder. We have to prepare the drink. Uh, there's probably a water dispenser around here somewhere. But it's a, it's a kind of rejuvenating flour glass tea powder. And then, uh, yeah. So and pop rocks. Greg and looks up at Alarin, looks over at Skitter, looks back at Alarin, says, "Thank you," and then pulls out one of his rations. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's wait, got wait. more. <laughs> are we talking? Are we talking the uh, rations from Five E? Yes. Oh no. Okay. I'm like. Wait, what week. happens to them from, when they get like, transferred over to 3.5? Make like a strength the check. The entire what? <laughs> strength? Um, what did okay. I just unlock? You, uh, you unwrap the thing and take <laughs> a bright bite. And you've never eaten rocks before. Oh, and what? it seems like the flavor has, has survived the multiple years in storage. Um, oh. But... Uh, it's mighty hard to chew. You make it through, though. But, uh... I, I, no offense, but I think that if I eat that kale and foie gras... Foie gras. Yeah. The foie grass. I think I'll probably <laughs> just have an allergic reaction. But you yes, don't understand clear. what bugbears eat. It's bone marrow. Um, and... And a warm bone and marrow. Warm, and <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Bone marrow and like, I don't know. Raw meat. Pectoralis muscle. You should and just save one of the horror monsters to eat. And siblings. That would have been great. Oh, okay. I'll be back. Wait, hold on. Huh? Le leave the foie gras here. I'll try it out. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's a little bit bitter going down, but supposedly oh, it's supposed to help with headaches. I place it down. There's like a ton of food if you're willing to lower your standards a lot. I mean, I literally think that if I eat that stuff, I will probably throw up more. Lower your standards I, for I bear, rations. Bug bears are, <laughs> I are actually... our palate is the opposite of refined. It's refined in its unrefinedness. Well, I suppose you probably also haven't had cuisine beyond Zagnoth. You could eat the mattress. So. I don't think he had cuisine in Zagnoth either. No, that that's yeah, his rations are imported. <laughs> he ate goblins. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well. And I suppose when I sort of check, hello? Oh, and I immediately Flurf close the door. Flurf is possibly drowning in the shower. You're not sure. <laughs> Either he's drowning or he's snoring. Well, you think it's best to just leave him alone. Time, so. uh, well, it's like I've <laughs> occupied. It looks like Greg will have to shower later. And I haven't felt water in a long time. I'll wait. But... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm sure there's some room on top. You can... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so between uh, between sessions, I'll just say this now. You guys have about 16 hours before anything major happens. Uh, so you might want to think about what your characters do during that. Uh, that if good. you want to like do anything important, if you want to talk to people, if you want to like work on anything, uh, there are supplies in here. You can talk to uh, Dr. Nim. Mm -hmm. You could get in contact with Vivi. I don't know why, okay. but uh, you know, I'm go I'm gonna try and like uh, start doing this whenever These are you guys all have the downtime. Bad people that make our lives worse. <laughs> I mean, I'm currently uh, regrowing yeah. my hair and yeah. waiting on so we'll, uh, waiting uh, an order. <laughs> we'll have to make a fluffy flurf box for next time. Yeah. Oh yeah, what? Yeah, so he's just gonna grow back the new color scheme. Yeah, so cause... I'll just, I'll just. Uh, I'll I'll make that fairly cubicle looking. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And so the party is given some much needed downtime once again. What will they do? Grow hair? Feed themselves? Sleep? Or maybe something more productive? Who knows? Speaking of who knows, who knows what they're going to do after this point? The uh the road to the flaming eyes become a little bit more difficult as they kind of blew up the available ship. They might just go somewhere else. Who knows? I certainly don't. I guess we'll all have to find out on the next episode of Shattered Planets. <laughs>